I had to double check if the car is 100% clean. In fact, uh, there was a gentleman part of this group that is going to this musical event. He was holding a glass of wine in his hands. Okay, well, when it comes to glass of wine or any other alcoholic beverages, it's pretty much discussable. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. It's a limo, it's, they're allowed. Oh, not really. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, it's December 1st and today at the Sydney Domestic Airport uh, we have a uh, few vans uh, driving all the way from the Domestic Airport going to the city and uh, we'll be on standby pretty much for the whole day long. My name is Ratko, a Sydney based chauffeur aka Ray, on this channel I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. Good afternoon everyone, it's currently 12 o'clock and this is the Sydney Domestic Airport. We are currently doing a music event today and uh, as you can tell there are a few vehicles already on standby and all these vehicles that you see are uh, the ones that uh, will be taking people from the airport to the hotels in the city it's gonna be a long day we're expecting at least 10 11 hours most of us most of the drivers and we'll see how day it's gonna look like today and this is another day in my chauffeur life <music> And this is the private jet base where all these uh, private uh, planes are landing. It's called Execute Jet. Two of our four vans were sent here. Apparently one of the artists is uh, arriving at this location. And as soon as they arrive, with, uh, along with their staff, along with their security, these two vans will be leaving to one of the hotels in Sydney. See you there. Yeah, let me take this for you. Thank you. Thank you. This one? Yeah. I Thank just you. need the headphones. No trauma. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ton of luggage. Huh? Tons of luggage? Tons of luggage. That's it. And the last one. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Thank you. This way, please. It's just for a beat. It's a group. Yeah, four people. Okay, we go to this. 
exceptional. Thank you. The hotel's driveway looks so busy. It's Saturday, but um, obviously it's a weekend, but always um, this place is so, so busy, especially because of the fact it's on Darling Harbour. Darling Harbour is one of the most um, popular sites here in Sydney. It was just expected to be busy. Would you like me to come back here for you? Uh, for the day? Yes, so I'm on the job so for the I day. Can leave my back you can leave your back. Um, would you like me to come back for you? Would you like me to wait for you? What would you like to do? Oh no, you, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. So I'm gonna go back to the hotel. Okay. Done. Thank you. So this is downtown Sydney and this gentleman asked me to take him to Prada shop here on Castle Ray Street and I thought that I was going to wait for him but turns out that I need to go back to the hotel and this gentleman will find some other form of transportation back to the hotel. Since we take the guests to the hotel, well, I've done a couple of trips within the city and I think they were mainly doing shopping. Uh, there were two vans out of all the six vehicles. There were two vans, myself and one more van, or one, one more seven seat. Uh, they were classified as VIP and we were looking after the main artists. And pretty much we, we spent most of the day around the hotel. Finally in 5.40, we'll be heading to, to the venue. Oops, I found a place, perfect place to park. This is just off the street right next to the hotel which is great and I'm gonna be on standby and wait for further instructions I believe they're gonna spend some time uh, for the next couple of hours at the hotel or maybe do some shopping and then I'm gonna be taking them to, to the venue for now I'm gonna be staying uh, at the hotel It's time for coffee. I just uh, have to go and find a little coffee shop around here, but it's Darling Harbour. It's a shopping mall just right behind me. Uh, one of the chauffeurs told me there's apparently another entrance, which I didn't know, and uh, time to grab a coffee. Thank you, sir. to double check if the car is 100% clean. In fact, uh, there was a gentleman part of this group that is going to this musical event. He was holding a glass of wine in his hands. Okay, well, when it comes to glass of wine or any other alcoholic beverages, it's pretty much discussable. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. It's a limo, it's, they're allowed. Oh, not really. Not really, I'm saying for the simple reason, if they're sober, they can have uh, maybe a drink or two, which is totally fine. I didn't realize this guy was fully intoxicated and uh, believe it or not he fell asleep in the car with the um, glass of wine in his hands and I was hoping that glass of wine gets spilled which it didn't and luckily I ended up with no wine spilled in my car Still on standby here at the hotel, uh, probably it's gonna take another one hour and a half or two hours max. The gentleman that was sitting next to me, he asked me how long does it take to the venue, which is uh, usually half an hour, but if it worse comes to worse in a heavy traffic, up to 45 minutes. And I'm expecting uh, to leave about 5.30 in order to be the 6.15 or 6.30 latest. And this music event will start about 7 o'clock. So in approximately 90 minutes from now, it's, uh, we're gonna be probably heading down to the venue. It's about time to leave and go to the venue, so anytime soon they will come out and we're off to the music event site.
that behind me is the traditional uh, fireworks here in Dalikaba next to Sofigo. Which is happening mostly for the weekends.